This geometry problem is absolutely beautiful, so make sure you don't miss any part of it. We've got this equilateral triangle ABC, and this big semicircle is sitting on a triangle space, and its center is O1, and this smaller semicircle is crammed up here, and its center is O2. We only know that this segment EF is 3, and we need to find this gold-colored area, which is part of this semicircle, but this tiny region over here is missing. If you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. First, let's draw a radius for the small semicircle here. We'll call it R2. And we have another R2 down here. Now I'll take this top part and move it over here to zoom in, so that you can see what's going on. We want to find this length. We know this angle is 60 degrees, because it's on the vertex of this equilateral triangle. Now this side and this side are equal, so this triangle must be isosceles. And these two angles must be identical. And this angle must also be 60 degrees. These two angles add up to 120 degrees. So this third angle is also 60 degrees. And this triangle is an equilateral triangle. Which means this side is also R2. Let's put R2 here. Now we can do the same thing for this semicircle too. We draw two radii here. And we call them R1. This angle is 60 degrees. These two sides are identical. So this angle must also be 60 degrees. Consequently, the third angle is 60 degrees too. This triangle is equilateral, so this segment is also R1, and this segment is R1 too, because it coincides with the radius of the big semicircle. Now, these are the sides of the equilateral triangles, so they are equal to each other. We can express that as AC equals CB. AC is basically R1 plus R2 plus 3. So let's change this AC to that. And CB is R1 plus R1, so let's put 2 R1 over here. Let's cancel out the extra R1s on each side, and it turns out R1 equals R2 plus 3. Let's keep this super important finding up here. Now, let's draw this height for the big equilateral triangle. We'll call it H, and this angle is a right angle, and this angle is 60 degrees. We'll use the tangent function to find H. The tangent of an angle is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. Our angle is 60 degrees, so let's put 60 here. And it's well known that tangent 60 is radical 3. H is the opposite side, and R1 is the adjacent side. So let's substitute them in this equation. We can take this R1 and move it to the left hand side like this. H turns out to be radical 3 times R1. Let's change this H to that. Now let's take a look at this small equilateral triangle up here. This height cuts it into two equal parts. So these segments are both R2 over 2. And we can use the same tangent function we used a few seconds ago to figure out that this red segment is radical 3 over 2 times R2. And if we subtract that from the height of the big equilateral triangle, we get this as the length of the brown segment. Now, let's work on this expression to find out what it equals. We know R1 is R2 plus 3, so we can replace this R1 with that. And we can open up the brackets like this. Next, we subtract these two, and we get radical 3 over 2 times R2. Now we have a better looking value for the brown segment. Let's put it down here. Next we draw a straight line that goes from O1 to O2. This top part is R2 and the bottom part is R1. And we know R1 equals R2 plus 3. So this O1, O2 line becomes 2 times R2 plus 3. This angle is a right angle because the height intersects with the base of the triangle on that corner. We now have a right triangle here. And that means we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, according to the Pythagorean theorem, the sum of the squares of the shorter sides of a right triangle equals the square of its longest side. We'll need more space for that. Now, this R2 over 2 is one of the short sides, so let's take its square. This is also one of the short sides, so let's take its square as well. And this one is the longest side. We'll take its square too. Next, this over here becomes this. And the square of everything inside these brackets is this. And the square of this stuff is this. These two things over here add up to R2 squared. And now we can subtract this entire expression from both sides to clear up the equation. The left hand side cancels out completely. And the right hand side becomes this. Next we divide everything by 3. And we get this quadratic equation which can be factorized into this. That means R2 is either minus 3 or plus 2. Well, we can't have a negative radius, can we? That leaves us with plus 2. Let's put this finding up here and go back to the original image. We can now replace every R2 with just 2. We are ready to find the gold region's area. The gold region consists of this circular sector over here and this equilateral triangle up here. Let's first find the area of the equilateral triangle. It has a side length of 2. 
we can use the tangent function we used earlier in this video to calculate that the height is radical 3. Dad, stop saying radical. It's radical. Okay, son. We'll talk about my pronunciation later. And now my son will help us find the area of the triangle. Go ahead, son. Hello, everyone. The area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. The base of our triangle is 2. So let's put that here. And the height is radical 3. So let's put that here too. The 2's cancel out. And we found the area of the triangle. It's radical 3. Thank you very much, son. Let's write radical 3 in this triangle. And now we'll do this circular sector. We know this angle is 60 degrees. So its supplementary angle must be 120 degrees. This is the formula for the area of a circle sector. This theta is the sector's angle. So let's put 120 here. This fraction simplifies to 1 over 3. R is 2, so this becomes 2 squared, which equals 4. And the area of the sector turns out to be 4 pi over 3. Now the last step. Let's put 4 pi over 3 here and then add up the areas of these two regions. And the area of the gold colored region turns out to be 4 pi over 3 plus the square root of 3. There we are people. Here is the gold colored area we have been looking for. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you push the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.